Hey there, this is Jordan from Rolls Battery. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be answering some common questions and offering some troubleshooting tips for our Rolls R-Series and S-Series drop and replacement line of LFP batteries. Now one common question that we get is what if our battery's terminal is less than 2 volts? Now if your battery is new, it might be in sleep mode, and especially if it hasn't been used for a while. This feature is important because the battery management system, or BMS, draws a small amount of current while in use. Now without use, this could discharge the battery, so most of the components on the BMS will go to sleep after a week of inactivity. If you've just discharged your battery to the low voltage disconnect, this will happen within 10 minutes. In sleep mode, the small voltage at the terminals, usually around 1 to 2 or 6 to 7 volts, strives to detect if a voltage is applied or if there's a load present and wakes the battery up on these conditions. So to reactivate the BMS, simply apply an external charging voltage or load to the terminals. On Roll's S-Series LFP models, you can also wake the battery by pressing and holding the power button located below the display. We recommend a charge cycle for new batteries as received, as these are typically shipped at around 30% state of charge and may not have been recharged by distribution. Now what if I can't charge or discharge my battery? The bidirectional FET switch internal to the BMS can prevent either charging or discharging depending on the battery parameters. If you can't charge your battery, it may already be fully charged, balancing, or at a high voltage. If you can no longer draw power from the battery, it may be fully discharged. Repeated short circuits, overcurrent, or low or high temperature events can also cause a disconnect. If current is the culprit, try charging it. If temperature is suspect, adjust the temperature of the battery pack externally or using an S-series LFP device, use the internal heating by applying a charge voltage or consider insulation changes to your battery box. For more information on what specific condition has caused the BMS to enter protection mode, connect to your battery over Bluetooth and refer to the Rolls LFP Connect mobile app, or with S-Series devices, use the screen and refer to the manual to find the specific error code relevant to your disconnection event. If you're still having trouble, contact us at support at rollsbattery.com. Thanks very much.